go and look at the next one. Uh, we'll start with this one. So this one, um, let me see if I can pull this up here. Uh, this one is from Mason Clark's eSports, or Mason eSports Clark, yeah. So he's got like a sideboard guide that's also posted with this one as to where he's doing it. His list is designed for best of three, so we will be playing it in that. So um, I think that's pretty cool. So here we go. Uh, sideboard is over here. Now his list is a more traditional uh, Simic list here. However, it's got some spice to it. Like there's one deep root elite in the main deck. I honestly am not a huge fan of this card. Um, he is playing Memory Lapse, which this is a very powerful counterspell in Historic. Uh, some Brazen Borrowers, you know, Svelun. Um One of the things I was actually surprised by in his deck is that he doesn't actually play a second set of one drops. So once again, like, it's really weird because you don't have a lot that you can do on turn one. Uh, uh, hold on a second, I'm going to move this over. That way if I need to reference his sideboarding stuff for some reason, then I can. Um... And he's playing more actual lands here. So, it, he's, he goes pretty high on lands for this kind of deck. So he still has 20 lands. But then, remember, you also have the Shoreline Scouts. So, Shoreline Scout, obviously, uh, can turn these creatures into lands if he needs them. Uh, so, I, I've kind of gone the opposite direction. I've gone, I play some more Glass Pool, I think. You don't need as many lands, in my opinion, to get to this, but he's going a little bit heavier on mana. He just doesn't play the one-drops here, so we'll see how it goes. And his sideboard it looks like pretty standard stuff. Relic, Aether Gust, uh, Mystical Dispute's good. Um, he's got a little bit of spice, though. One Mystical, Subduel, uh, one Kapala. Kapala is pretty fine, especially with Company. Um, this card can be really... Uh, it pairs really well, actually, with Svelun. Because Svelun gives all your stuff ward. And, you know, Kapala, they can't even target it unless they pay an extra one. So now, basically, they have to pay an extra three mana to target any of your merfolk with anything. So, it it does pair pretty well with this. I think it's fine to sideboard it sometimes. You know, a random wilt. I, this I find kind of sketchy. I think that maybe it'd be a little better if it was like Reclamation Sage. Again, just because it lets you dig for it with Collected Company. We'll see that in some of the other lists. But his, I think the biggest spice card here is Ranger Class. Which, it doesn't really look like the sort of card that this deck wants at first. It does make a 2-2 wolf. So basically it's a non-creature spell that does make a token. Um, you level it up once. Um... It makes all your stuff bigger for attacking. And when you get it to level 3, it becomes a card advantage engine. So you can start casting creature spells from the top of your deck. So it kind of does... Um, what's what's the the green one? Damn it, they're, they're the, the changeling guy from Kaldheim. It sort of does that. I don't know if I actually own any. So hold on, let me... I, I can find it here, because we're on Arena. We can actually find all this stuff. It's not a card I usually play a lot, uh, but it is one that I know some people have liked. Realm Walker, here we go. It's kind of like Realm Walker, but it's not something that you can get rid of with removal. So here we go. Yeah, you can see it. So whereas normally the problem with something like Realm Walker is that the control player can always just cast their removal and get rid of it. Well, they're going to have a hard time getting rid of this comparatively because you can't, like, lightning helix it away. So maybe that's kind of why he wants to play with these. I'm not sure if I believe in this card, but it's in the list, so we're going to play it like that. So let's go and take this out for a couple matches and see how that goes. So yeah, we're going to explore a little bit of everything today, so we get in kind of an idea of like how each of these lists function. Alright, All right. so the opponent is on the play, they get to decide what's happening here. Uh, unfortunately, we can't actually keep that. It's zero land, we need at least one land, oof. Not a good way to start off here. Um. All right, we have to keep this, I guess. Probably Memory Lapse and Collected Company would be what I'd get rid of here. 
you could make an argument for glass pool, but I think that we are going to struggle to get up to four mana. Oh, that's not a good sign at all. Since we drew a land, I'm not going to play the glass pool in turn one. Oops, all right, hold on, I'm just checking something. Yeah, this is going to be a deck that we're just going to struggle against. Um, it's going to be very hard for us. All right, let's get Silver Gill out. We'll show another Silver Gill here. But, yeah, the Sacrifice decks are super hard. Especially if they're playing Claim the Firstborn. That card is just, like, insanely difficult for us to beat. Okay, well, Channel's fine, so... Maybe we'll play Glass Pool this turn? Nope, never mind. The Mayhem Devil's already out. We're fucked. Like, we can kind of concede from this point, to be honest. Like, um, it, it doesn't really matter, because now they can just sacrifice and kill off all of our creatures. Like, this is basically not even worth playing, so I'm not going to bother. Like as, soon, like, as soon as Mayhem Devil's out, and, like, we don't really have anything on board, they're not going to get to stick anything, so... It's just kind of pointless to, like, try. Alright. Does he... Um... Nothing specifically for sacrifice. But we'll see how this... I think probably... What do we want? The one drops... Or, or the one toughness things are not particularly good. Because, yeah, Mayhem Devil is just going to undermine them. Um... Probably Kapala, that seems like that's really strong. Maybe this random Mystic Subduel is fine. I don't think Memory Lapse is what I want in this match. I guess Aether Gust is okay. Actually, Relic seems like it'd be pretty good here. So, pro like, Deep Root Elite could either be really good or, like, really terrible. It's just, yeah, it, it, at some point, it, like, this is just all going to be bad. I think I'm going to take out the Deep Root. You know what, I'm going to take out the Subduel. I'll just go with the Relics. Because, at least this way, it, it'll make it harder for them to keep looping the cat. No, it, I'm, it was pretty clear that we, we were losing game one badly. They had the engine in play. Uh, I would love to play first. Uh, this hand's fine. We can keep this. And we might not want to play Silvergill Adept right away. No, that's less than ideal. I think we actually want to play the Lord, so that way we get out of range of getting our stuff pinged to death. And then probably just play company and get more stuff. Yeah, this is not good. Um, I'll just copy the misbinder and hope that'll work. Yeah, there we go. Sure, they're going to block and sacrifice it. But I mean, next turn we get to play Collected Company and hopefully get like a bajillion lords, so. I really am, I am not a fan of the cat deck. This card got banned from Standard. I think that's just pretty funny to know. Okay. I'm going to hold off on the company right now. I, can, I think I can wait until their turn and see what they do here. And then the turn afterwards, I can play Silvergill plus Regery. 
Like, we are in a really good spot in this game, I think. Yeah, if they, especially if they're putting Gigantha in their hand right now, it's really bad for them. Well, that was pretty pathetic. Really, out of like a deck with like 36 creatures or something. Uh, it's not quite as many in there, but it's like 30 creatures. We could only find two Svaloons. Whoops. Still, this is pretty good for us, I'd say. Hmm. Um, I guess does it, it doesn't really matter what order we do this in, does it? Uh, we, we could theoretically tap down the cat. No, but they, they, they can still sacrifice it and bring it back. So I play Regery... I play silver. No, yeah, I play Regier. I play Silver Gale, and then tap. Maybe I could tap the Witch's Oven. That might be good. Because they can only use this once, and so now if they want, they, if they they're not going to want to block this here. I think. Oh, that's an excellent draw. Svalon just bringing us the gas. Like, we are murdering them this game. Like, it really almost doesn't matter what they do. Like, we're just going to crush them. Can play Regery, tap something down, and also Borrower and bounce something and just attack for, like, 10 million. Oh, that's... No, they're dead. No, they're fucked. Um, that thing is not going to be blocking. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Look at what a difference being on the play versus being on the draw made. Incredible. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, tap it out for Corvold. Didn't really seem like that was the way to go there. They knew I had Regery in my hand. I could just tap it down and attack past it anyway. So, like mathematically, they all they had perfect information to know that wasn't correct. I okay. So this hand, I think we could actually keep this. So we have Sanctum. Then we can play Shoreline Scout and probably turn the Regery into uh, another fish, or, or I mean, a, a tropical island. So, and then on turn two, we can just play, like, either Mistbinder or Relic, either way. But this is the kind of hand that I think Shoreline helps you keep. I want to keep Svalon because it's it's actually hard to kill. Fuck. All right. So the smart thing for them to do, they should take the Shoreline Scout. Because if they... T that That's the thing that could potentially screw us if they thought Seize and take it and we don't draw any more lands. So they went for Svalon. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this card that they know about. Now we have our cool Tropical Island on MTG Arena. With, uh, I still think that it, if they wanted to make this mechanic work in paper, they absolutely could have. There's nothing stopping them from doing that. Um, I don't think I care if they block this. Because if they do, I can just play Relics and Exile the damn thing. Do it! Okay. They only have two cards in their graveyard, so they know that this is happening.
Okay, all things considered, like, so far, we're not off to a terrible start. It is still... See, I don't like this. They should still show this card over here. It, I don't like that it shows up here because it makes you look like that there's nothing over in the graveyard. And it definitely is still there. But now it's an exile and it is not coming back. So we can also now just play Mistbinder and then still hold up the Relic if we want to. Uh, that's also fine too. Let's get our card advantage before they thought sees it away. Maybe that was not. Maybe I should have played the island first, just because of potentially Colligan's command. I didn't think about that. I don't know if they play it in their deck. Oh, if they're just gonna play Doomblade, I don't care about that. That's fine. And now, ideally, a drawing another land means company just wrecks them, so I'm cool with that too. Let's just keep cards out of their graveyard. This isn't going terribly. Okay, so whatever they target, I'm just going to crack. Okay, so we just exile it for a card. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, no, I, I guess that's fine. We can... we That's okay to do. Hmm. We have two cards left here. We'll just play the Mist Binder since they know about it. Just in case they try to do this, like, again or something. I can still exile the Relic. Yeah, exactly. They're going to have a very hard time like playing or getting their engine going with this in play. So, See, if we had played the Regery there, we would have just lost out on that. Uh, we definitely are getting Mara Regery and uh, Spaloon. So now we can play like Mara Regery and just beat them. Or, like, play Mara Regery into Merfolk Trickster, and they're just, like, getting decimated here. <sighs> like, it's kind of too little too late at this point for them. We've got a pretty impressive board with lots of power in hand still. Oh, they're fucked. We're really close to killing them. Okay. I think that does it, actually. Bye-bye. Get, get out of here. You're dead. <laughs> what are, I don't know what they think they're going to... I guess what? They sacrificed it for two mana? Okay, sure. Uh, doesn't really help you. Uh, I know I'm not going to untap it. Take 14. That was not the one that you needed to kill. You needed to kill one of the other ones. So, I mean, even if they did hit the correct one, like, they were still going to be at, like, one life. Or, or what? They were, they were still going to be at, like, very, very low life. We were going to kill them anyway, but, like, they shouldn't have died that turn. There's no reason for that. That, that looked really good. Alright, um, let's go... Oops, nope, 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 hold on. That's not the right one. <laughs> yeah, well, that, I, so that was like a bad matchup generally, but like we still managed to get there after sideboarding. 
Uh, we have a mastery thing. Let's go and look at it. What do I want here? This thing. Working on this. Alright. Let's go back. Yeah, this deck actually is kind of real and historic now, right? So we want traditional historic ranked. And we'll play one more match with this before we move on to the next one. So we still got two more deck lists to go, and we have like just about an hour or so left. I want to make sure we have time to get to each list. Uh, we'll be on the play for this. And we don't have any one drops, but that's fine. We, we'll we keep this. We have lots of power in this list. Or in, in this hand, so. Try to play the Sanctums first, just because you, really, you don't want them to ever be your fourth land. And in case we just draw Sanctums from here, we want to make sure they're in play. Uh, Elves is probably the single worst match that we have, so. I hate to say it, but Elves is is really bad for us. I'll show Regiri, because that's like 99% what I'm playing next turn. Oh, that Svalon's pretty appealing. We have to race them. There's no way that we can win if we don't race Elves. Maybe they'll be like red-green Stompy or something like that, but... Okay, well then... We're probably not as bad versus this as we are anything else. Um, no, well, that can't be a good sign. Oh my god, <laughs> this is just getting worse and worse. Uh, okay. I guess I'm okay if they want to trade with either of these things, but this looks really bad for us. I don't know how we're gonna overcome this. The Fauna Shaman gives them access to, like, every creature in their deck, and the Shaman is... Or the... What, the Arch Archaeomancer? That thing makes all of their shit cheaper, so, um... Why would you go after the Silvergill and not the Regiri? Come on. That that was a boneheaded move. You better have another one ready to kill this thing. You never don't kill the Regiri first! What? <laughs> oh, okay. All right, fine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play every card in my hand now. Thank you very much. Uh, let's untap this. Uh, they're, they're still going to do that. I guess what I could do is I could play the Elite and just tap down the Shaman and just see what they do here. So if they're going to do it, they're going to have to show us what they're going to do right now. Okay. That's fine. Oh, that's less fine. They had company. All right. Should have known that. Uh, well, it's still not... Okay, well, so they're playing shamans, right? Is that what's happening here? Yikes. That's super, super dangerous. Okay, I don't... <laughs> I don't know how... This is going poorly. But we still... We're not dead yet. We still have collected company to save us. We just have to, like, try not to die this turn. Thankfully, that thing is not a shaman. It is just a giant. Never mind. They have Shatter Skull smashing in their hand. So we are about to just get destroyed. Now, now there's no hope. Uh, we are taking 10. I'm sorry, we're taking a lot more because of this thing. These Rage Forgers are no joke. Uh, I can't afford to block this. Alright, what do I need here? I need to draw, like... That's not going to help. I'm going to have to tap down both of these things with Tricksters. And the problem is, I only have one collected company to do that with. Alright. 
I guess I have to just wait until their turn and try to company into double tricksters to turn these things down. Um, okay. I think that means we are dead. Yeah, because this is just going to kill us. Alright, we die. So, I don't know. There's some interesting things going on with this list. Uh, sideboarding. What do we want to do with this? Yeah, I guess we do. Yeah, we still have... Um, Aether Gust seems okay. Is there anything else? Not particularly... Uh, probably Brazen Borrower. I don't like it a whole lot versus this deck. I don't think I like Deep Root Elite either. Actually, I don't think I care for Memory Lapse that much. I, I, lapse is okay. Hmm... We definitely want Ether Gust, but we have to have at least seven, uh, three more cards here. So we have to decide what do we want to keep. Um, maybe we'll just take some lapses. We'll just do it like this. This puts us at 29 creatures. I guess that's fine. I don't know if Ranger Class is what we want here. I think Ranger Class is more for, like, the control decks that are playing a ton of sweepers in their deck so that you um, have something you can do. But I don't know. I guess we're going to keep this, but I don't feel per terribly great about it. Yeah, I think you want Ranger Class against, like, Supreme Verdict decks or something like that. So uh, Loses all abilities seems pretty relevant here. But I think we need to save that for um, the Rage Shaman so that they don't start pinging us to death when they attack. We need to draw another Merfolk right now. I guess another 2-2 two -two is okay. Um, okay, that's probably the thing that we have to Mystic Subduel. I don't really want them triggering things multiple times right now. Alright, and then hopefully Collected Company will be fine. Well, they have Company up now, but we can also hold up Ether Gust for theirs. Their board is still way better right now. Um, I assume they're going to do this. That's kind of nice. That's also pretty good, because now I can play this and it doesn't look suspicious. Uh, there's not really a reason to attack here. Um, no. <laughs> They're just giving us time to catch up, because now, now when they go for it, now we're going to have our company to respond, so. Or I could just Aether Gust it again. That's also an option. Dude, they can just, because our attacks are pretty good here, so we can just potentially tempo them out this way. What did I say, opponent? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. they Their blocks are not amazing. Anything they block with is going to die, so it's okay with me. 
gets gets us a bunch of damage in, and then hopefully we can kill them before they finally resolve their company. They're just like, oh, fuck, I am not taking the chance. If he has another one of those things in his hand, I absolutely do not want to just get it countered like a fifth time. All right. Well, that's not bad. That's a pretty impressive board. And they can still play some stuff here. That's also not bad. All right, so I think we're what we have to do is just attack with everything and then collect a company and hope for the best. Hope that we can get them to make some really poor blocks here. And we're just banking on the fact that we can Coco into two lords. Uh, that'll work. Now, yeah, now they're just dying. Okay, well, we're one and one, so... Do I want to change anything here? I guess... Actually, I don't know, like, that, that plan actually felt kind of solid, so maybe I'll keep the memory lapse for this one. Yeah, there was probably a point where they should have stopped letting me untap to do that. But I guess they just figured after each one, it's like, there's no way he can have another one. There's no way he can have another one. And then I just kept having it, so... They're on the play this time, which is going to be a lot harder for us. Ah, uh, this hand looks great. We'll keep it. Um, just checking in this. Come on. All right. This is our last game with this deck, and then we have to go to the next one so we don't run out of time. Okay. That's fine. That might actually be the card that I... Yeah, I think that I get rid of this one. I'll turn this into a tropical island. I think we want to have as many lords as possible. That's ideally how we're going to win this game. I probably don't even play Sphalone here. I think I just want to play the Mistbinder and attack. Yeah, no, that game definitely was just a bunch of haymakers in a row. All right, so they don't have Collected Company in hand. That's good to know. But I'm guessing they probably have something like Bone Crusher Giant. All right, so we'll find out right now. Because if they do, they're going to just use it here. Okay, well... Let's see what happens. Oh, they have a braid. Ooh, well, that's rough. I did not consider a braid. Why would you not kill the Mistbinder? That's ridiculous. Okay, well, that definitely could have gone better. I also forgot this thing had prowess. That was a huge fuck up. But we know they don't have Coco in hand, so that's a plus. All right, but we also we we do have Coco in hand, so ours is going to be great. Oh, uh, we have back to back Cocos. Uh, I think we just pass here and then see what happens. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Yikes! That was the saddest collected company ever. Um, I'm 
We'll see what they do here. Okay, Lanoir is pretty bad, so. Um. I guess. I just Ether Gust this burning tree away. That seems to be fine. I think we'll hold back and we'll hold up both Memory Lapse and Collected Company. Um, yeah, absolutely fucking not. There we go. That was a, another match where it looked like we were destined for losing, but, um... Yeah, no, it turns out the the counter spells are actually really good, so. Have we lost a match yet? I don't think we have. <laughs>